Happy World Reef Day. Today we celebrate coral reefs in Hawaii and around the world. Coral reefs support more species than any other marine ecosystem. They rival rainforests in biodiversity. Countless numbers of ocean creatures rely on the coral reef for their survival. At Waikiki Aquarium, we have studied coral reefs in the wild in order to create the optimal conditions for our reef exhibits. The exhibit pictured here first opened 10 years ago and has everything that coral needs to grow. So let's look at what is needed to create a coral reef. First, you need coral, the type that builds a calcium carbonate skeleton. These corals, also called stony corals, mostly grow in warm, shallow water between 68 and 86 degrees. At Waikiki Aquarium, we have the ability to control the temperature of the water in our exhibits. The water temperature hovers around 80 degrees at all times. Coral reefs also need clean, clear water and a lot of sunlight. Why does coral need sunlight? Coral, though an animal, has a symbiotic plant partner that lives in its tissues. This plant partner converts sunlight into food for itself and extra food for its host coral. Coral needs lots of sunlight for proper nutrition. If the water is murky, light can't penetrate to the reef. At Waikiki Aquarium, we filter our water so it's clean and clear. Not only does the exhibit look pretty, but it reaches the coral so its plant partner can make food for it. Lots of sunlight is needed by coral, but all this sunlight causes algae to grow. Too much algal growth can smother coral and block the light it needs to survive. In the aquarium, we spend time cleaning and plucking algae from our exhibits, but we also use what nature uses, herbivores. The convict tang you see here has comb-like teeth that are specially adapted to graze algae off of the reef. These slate pencil urchins are also grazers. They crawl over the reef, scraping algae from the rocks with a jaw made of five teeth. In the ocean and in our exhibits, it's important that we have many types of herbivores, including surgeon fish and sea urchins. These algae eaters play a crucial role. By keeping algae in check, they prevent fast growing seaweeds from choking out more slow growing corals. Sea cucumbers play an important role on the sandy sea floor. Some sea cucumbers move along the bottom, picking up sand and organic detritus, things like fish poop and fish scales. They digest the organic materials and eliminate clean sand as a byproduct. This process not only cleans the sand, but turns over the sediments to keep the ocean floor from hardening. Sea cucumbers are found in most of our exhibits with sandy bottoms. Healthy sandy reef flats are habitats for a variety of animals. This goatfish is using its sensory barbels searching for small crustaceans and worms hidden in the sand. When the food is located, the goatfish will plunge its mouth into the sediments, inhaling the sand and prey alike. It swallows its prey and expels the excess sand through its gill co covers. This also helps to turn over the sediments. Fish have a layer of mucus for protection and to make it harder for parasites to attach to them. But parasites still somehow manage to fasten to fish. Brightly colored cleaner fish establish cleaning stations on the reef. Fishes approach these stations and hover nearly motionless, indicating their red readiness to be cleaned. The cleaner wrasse then removes and eats the parasites from their fins and scales, sometimes taking a small nip of the fish. All these plants and animals work together to create the coral reef ecosystem. Let's celebrate World Reef Day by doing whatever it takes to protect the critical coral reef habitat. Remember, coral needs clean, clear water. Everything that goes into our streams and storm drains ends up in the ocean. Let's dispose of our waste properly and keep our streams, rivers, and ultimately our ocean clean. When entering the ocean, we should wear protective clothing or use reef safe sunscreen. Chemicals and some types of sunscreen harm marine life. Reef safe sunscreen is widely available.
Make sure you read labels carefully and choose your sunscreen wisely. Let's also remember that the coral reef is a habitat. We can't have a healthy coral reef ecosystem if we don't have all the necessary parts. We need not only coral to build the reef, but we also need herbivores and scavengers and decomposers to help keep the reef ecosystem in balance. Finally, the ocean is warming with the rest of the planet. This puts our coral reefs in peril. Remember, the ocean is not an exhibit in an aquarium. We can't add more filtration if the water is dirty or chill the ocean if it gets too warm. All we can do is try to keep the water clean and do our best to slow climate change. To celebrate World Reef Day, let's do our part to protect the coral reefs of Hawaii and the world.